Hello, travelers. Warning, 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 disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. We do things a little bit differently around here. If you're watching this on my channel, here's the thing. This is not a market substitute for the show. I know it's a short show, six episodes, I think 20 minutes less a piece. But that being said, if you want to watch this show and it's full uncut HD glory with no pausing and a full, all your faculties ready to receive the, the waves coming at you, then I tell you what, you can go on to Amazon Prime and watch the full thing uncut, undulterated. You can go watch uh, XQC or somebody like that react to it. I love movies, television, film, gaming, all that jazz. I've said it many times, I'll say it again. Cinema, quite frankly, saved my life. And when it comes down to it, I love all that goes into making it. I love talking about it. I love analyzing it. So don't get me wrong. I have not seen this show, and I can't wait to get into it and watch this show. And, you know, as you are here to see, react to it. But keep in mind... If there's anything worthy, I shouldn't say worthy, it makes me sound so higher than thou. If there's anything that's going to be good to like sink my teeth into with this show in terms of characters, narrative, predictions, tinfoil hat theories, psychology, then I'm going to be doing it. Now, if the show ends up being a bust, either in viewer count or just the fact that, like, there's not a whole lot to get into aside from general reactions, it might just be relegated to Patreon. But uh, otherwise, if this actually does well on YouTube, because I already have other shows I'm watching, and this is a very impulsive thing I'm doing right now, but I was like, oh, I like I've, I like Markiplier. I love him. He's been around. I've been watching him since before he had a million subscribers. I was, I've been around since, not in the beginning, but close to it. So... When he put a call to action to his fans to help get this to the top 10 in, in uh, Amazon, as you can see, it's a number five right now in the U.S. So we we did it and then some. I'm going to do my part. I want to support him and I love to watch. I mean, aside from like, you know, gaming videos and all that, I did do watch the uh, and interact with the in space with Markiplier. Uh, I guess you call that an ARG of sorts. I have not seen this, but I want to support it. I want to watch it. And I figure, you know what? It's short enough where I won't have too much anxiety about cutting up a reaction video to edit for online. So if this does well, like super well on YouTube, then I'll go ahead. Like if it gets at least a thousand views, let's, let's say that if it gets at least a thousand views, then yeah, I'll make a full series on YouTube. But if it's like my Penguin series and it's like like each episode's only several hundred, so it'll stick to Patreon. If you're a Patreon member, you can watch my reactions on there. I'll relegate it to that. Let's get into this, right? All, I know nothing about this show. It was pretty much like I, I just kind of like lock and key. I don't think he could even talk about this till about 24 hours ago. When a night watchman finishes his shift at work, he is terrified to discover that everyone in the world who went to sleep the previous night has died. Now he and a band of survivors must stay awake and uncover the secret of this global epidemic before they fall asleep. Why do I feel like I've seen this? I think I've heard this plots before. Fan of Markiplier or not, I'm going to give this, I'm going to look at this show through the same lens as I would any other piece of media. So if it's great, great. But if it's, you know, anything but, I'll critique where needed or where I think is needed. But I got a feeling that we're in for a good time here. We are right into it. Okay. Whoa. Stay awake. Evil Dead over here. Sleep, awaken us from our ancient slumber. Stay awake. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, okay, it looks pretty good. <laughs> the it's the prequel to Iron Lung. Copyright and music. Pardon me. So in the credits, does he not go by Mark Fishbach? Does he literally go under Markiplier? I guess so. Moda, Moda Phallus tablets, USP, stay awake, 100 milligrams. Already the fast paced nature of it. It's one of those shows where this strikes me as a has been hotel situation. And don't, before you, you know, get up in arms, I love has been hotel. P watch the pilot way back in the day, following the show now. I've been watching Hell of a Boss. I bought the merch, all that jazz. I feel like season one of has been hotel moved at a, a quicker pace than what Vivzy would have wanted it to move at. And I say that because, like, 
you're not sure if you're going to get another season or not, right? So you have to get, you have to condense a lot of narrative and information. You don't have too many episodes to really like get across what you're working with and trying to say. So I feel like there might be some, might've been some limitations there. I, I feel like if Mark was going to make something like this, he wouldn't take any shortcuts. He would really like give it his all and put all that he could into it. So I just noticed that though. Things are already moving very quickly and it gives me that vibe. It's a six episode, 20 minutes a piece type of deal. So I'm very curious to see if and how that could affect its overall pacing. <laughs> this Poppy's Play World? What's up? His projects have always been super creative. I've always loved watching the actual live action content he makes and the stories that unfold. Edge of Sleep. I like the vibes. I just came off and recording an interview with the vampire and I was uh, getting lost in the sauce. So this is a very late night spur of the moment decision I'm making right here. But let's get into it. The whale. I love that movie. All my life, I've been afraid to go to sleep. Whenever I lay down to close my eyes, that's when the nightmares begin. And lately, they've been getting worse. There he is. What Whoa. did you bring? Okay. Nothing. Check your pockets. Stay awake pills? No. Give them to me. Stop taking stop your meds, meds, Mark. Mark. Just stop, Just stop taking, taking your meds. Your meds. <laughs> the swarm. Whale's about to OD. Okay, okay. See, I love this kind of stuff. I love there being a very vague mystery that may or may not come together by the end of the season. So there's a potential cult, a religious sect of sorts, and he's gotten like a warning via this dream. So he's going to play this bigger role in the story. Why is he the chosen one, huh? If he even is the chosen one. Again, already we're getting the tinfoil hat theories oh, out, but... Hey, yo, you you good? To fell out of his chair, knocked himself out, and had a... Had a right, come on, let's get you up, man. The harbingers of doom come to him. Oh, man, I was having the craziest dream. Daxalab. Was I saying anything in my sleep? I mean, you were mumbling about some elephant and then you scattered your pills all over the floor really elephant. beware yeah you smashed the glass and fell ass backwards man we take notes you want to see no i'm good no i want to see just to confirm Look. oh i see <laughs> so bro fell back how out so he wasn't out for too long then if the guy just woke him up but he had the whole dream i assume that when he fell back and went unconscious that's when the dream sequence hit him there's the symbology of the triangle throughout this a lot imprinted on the brain it's in that big like tunnel vision thing coming at us so i mean clearly that's going to have something more to do with it what even is that crap just your standard antipsychotics oh antipsychotics hey, well i cleaned it nah just be easy with that stuff man you're not supposed to be popping them like the tic tacs it's just is a temporary thing i'm still having trouble sleeping alone I don't worry about all that. Is he, we gonna get was he being a smart ass or is he actually taking antipsychotics? You laid tonight. That's right. Look, we are going to that rich kid's party, all right? And you are gonna hook up with the first chick that's into weird half Asian dudes with a deep, smooth, sensual voice. <laughs> was that a compliment? And I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on, Davey boy, let's go. Zoinks. Davey no? is the Come name on, Dave. Man. Normally Amazon has x-ray, but I, I guess they don't care enough for this. Well, that's the car from the credits. Uh, I will say that, uh, like, overall, and I and I, I saw this in uh, in Space with Markiplier and some other videos, obviously, he's done in the past. But I think Mark, I can't tell yet if he's a fantastic actor or not. He's a good actor. Bare minimum, he's good. There's some moments where he can be great. 
I'm very curious to see where that goes from here. But, like, he has some talent. And it's interesting because, like, you even see him in his videos. Not only I think he's aware that he has this talent. You know, he's humble. But at the same time, he's like, oh, no, I've got it. I got I got, what, I got, got what's up. And I'm like, okay, dude, look, your, your talent's there, sure. You're tuned in to the smooth sounds of Late Night Larry. Isn't that Mark? Hey, I haven't slept in, like, 36 hours. I think I'm just going to bail on the party tonight. We both know that's bull. Respect boundaries. Sleep, Katie might be there. Just hit on another girl, man. Make her jealous. I'm not gonna do Katie. that. Katie? You still got feelings for the girl, but what's it been? Three, four weeks since she goes to you? She said she needed some space. Oh. You know the guys who sleep came condition. back from combat? Might save his life. Even the ones with PTSD. They went and they saw their friends. They went to bars. They got laid. That is how you get better. Take it from me. Was he actually being a smartass about the antipsychotics? Because it sounds more like he's medicated for a sleep condition. All right, you night owls. Don't fall asleep right, just yet. Night owls. We got another tune drifting into your mind's eye. Die, die. Pretty sure that's Mark. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Mark on the radio. Not bad so far. I know he helped create this. I'm very curious. Hey, you say you know this kid again? What, uh, what extent? We went to high school together. Dave Torres? Is that you? That's me. Dave Torres. <laughs> Roger. Oh. You missed one hell of a party. Randy's already passed out. It's my man no, Gus thanks. right here from Huntington Beach. What's up? Yeah. How's it going? Man? Are you, you guys man? are all going to die. Uh, almost thought that was Wyatt Russell for a moment. It must be tough, though, with your mental illness. Uh, yo, yo. Oh, yeah. No, he's diagnosed with the craziest shit, bro. What? Um, what's wrong with you? Uh, what's it called? Uh... Oh, my God. Vi all right. Oh, yeah. I already hate this guy, too. Violation of boundaries right there. And that's crazy. To pop that out at the party. Yeah, my bro has a mental illness. Maybe he is taking antipsychotics and that gives him the sleep issues. He has sleep issues due to a mental ill, like a, a, an ailment of sorts. Uh, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. It's just parasomnia. Paras no, no, sleep issue. He's just being an asshole about it. That's got to be hell on earth, man. I have trouble getting to sleep. That's the worst part of it. And waking up when I finally fall asleep. Good luck getting me up, but getting to sleep is, is a bitch and a half. But I can only imagine, like, whether it's parasomnia or if you're just an insomniac by nature, being, like, chronically tired but never being able to, like, fully sleep, get to sleep, stay asleep, you know? Back sure. in high school, this dude used to be the biggest freak I knew. We all thought it was nuts. One time we went to this party, bro. Bro, just shut he up. passed out. Pissed his pants. <laughs> woke up screaming. What are we doing right now? Bashing his head on the floor, bro. They had to take him to a mental institution. Oh. You're dating a... Clock this Shoot, guy, dude. Clock this she guy. just here. Get out of here. Uh, oh, my uh, God. <laughs> Katie. Right. Right, right, Katie. Yeah, that, she was that junkie girl, right? That's Yo, one. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to throw some hands. Don't call it <laughs> oh, snappy. No, you don't call her that. You don't know what she's. Oh my god. Immediately is accosted by these two assholes. And relax, relax, bro. Relax, junk. relax, relax. You don't have a little meltdown here, bro. Yeah, you don't want to have a meltdown here, bro. Like, what's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, damn, my bad, homeboy. You're that <laughs> purpose, bitch. <laughs> nah, that it's an accident. Uh -huh. Just like how your mom's accidentally gave birth to a douchebag like you. Oh, yo. Let's go. But just killed a man. Okay. Oh no, but he he fell asleep, so he's the first one to die. Dude, r real one over here though, dude. I'm not gonna lie, Mateo's a real one so far. After all this coaxing and all, that, he's a, he's a real one. Got him to come out. First thing he does, get accosted by these two drunk high assholes, and then comes back in. Doesn't like you know you might stereotypically see a situation where he's like, oh come on man, I brought you to this party, and you already screwed things up, and you're getting all uh, antagonistic. And no, no, he like squared up for his friend. That's great. And here's where the plot thickens. Yo, he good? Yeah, he's not breathing. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What the Tony hell did he take? He did nothing. He just smoked weed. Will okay. someone call 911? Can't be my phone. <laughs> Man, that shit. <sighs> can I get that? Can I get that line read one more time? Will someone call 911? Will someone call 911? Where's Randy? Uh, he's upstairs, passed out with. His Real talk, by the way, there have been very few situations in life where I've had to call 911, but the last couple times that I did, like, yeah, 911 sometimes doesn't go immediately through. Sometimes you're literally put on hold. <laughs> like, it takes a second to get through. It's wild. Yo, hey, I know y'all not trying to roll out like that. Yeah, hey, man, you good. I can't be here. I got a misdemeanor. Hey, y'all some bitches, man. Nah, you got this, though. Yeah, for real, for Randy. real. Randy, you gotta get up, man. Oh, they're all Tony dead. Tony's head real bad. He might... Oh, shit. Randy? Friend Randy's hey. dead. Hey. Just notating all this. Randy! Damn. So how do they figure it out? 
Does it come across in the news? Hey, Mateo! Oh, see, now, immediately the assumption would be there's a contagion or something in the air, right? Mateo, there's like gas! There's like a gas leak or something, I don't know! What the hell are you talking about? Randy and Alicia, they're not breathing! What? They're not breathing! So what are we supposed to do? Well, we gotta take him to the hospital. I'm not gonna lie, call me crazy. I love Mark a, a, a lot for a lot of reasons, but low-key, I think Mateo's kind of, like, really pulling the weight here. I'm not gonna lie. All right, watch this head. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Trunk full of bodies. Katie, it's me. Listen, if you took anything at the party tonight, you have to call 911, okay? I'm not accusing you of anything, but if you did, it might have been laced with some pretty bad what kind of party did you bring me to, man? I brought you to the You what? You to brought him to the party. I didn't want to go to the party. <laughs> I was about to say, Mateo, don't even try now. Roll up to the hospital with a trunk full of bodies, but you're going to get there. And yeah, people are going to get, going to be just out dead. So curious what the reasoning is for it, though. There's already like a psychedelic at, or like a, like a psychotic element to it. I don't know. Those dreams and that vision can't be a coincidence. Unless it's all just... That's reassuring. I don't know. You're gonna tell me people at the hospital falling asleep? Get out of town. Oh, there's people here. Well, they're probably dealing with this situation. Yikes. An influx of corpses. We have three people in the back of our car. Dead people. You just found them like this. Oh my God. One of them was on a couch. The other two, I found them in bed. We'll have to notify the police. You'll both have to stick around, answer their questions. The bodies? Well, we can lay them out on the sidewalk. You, you want us to just dump three cadavers on the side of the road? Cadavers? That's what you There's want. There's no need to raise your voice, sir. Ma'am, those were our friends, all right? We just want to know what's happening. Where is everyone? Why were there bodies in the hallway? What the hell is going on? Look, sir, we are severely understaffed tonight, OK? And we have lost several patients. So your cooperation would be greatly appreciated. That's real though. Let's Nurses, go. hospitals getting the short end of the stick there. Where the y'all going? Y'all just gonna leave us with this? Yeah, but I feel like there's more that they're not letting on, or that, or they're just generally unsure. Like they're not like, like whatever is going on, they don't know either. So, but I mean, clearly, clearly there's an influx of bodies. They just mention it themselves. Lay them out on the sidewalk. Yeah, let's do this. It's Modafolis. Modafolis. Stay awake. Stay alert. Stay alive. Ooh. A little bit on the nose, huh? Oh, is it all some like type of pharmaceutical? Like, is this like a Resident Evil nonsense where it's like, oh yeah, take our new never go to sleep pills, so you never have to go to sleep due to an incident that we created? Like, I think there's something deeper to it for sure. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. It it helps him sleep. Oh, now nah, we good as long as you give us some. Huh? Dude's jittery. <laughs> a cowboy Tate over here going down. He's next. Say goodbye to that old medication and get Modafinil. No, there's something deeper and darker than Modafinil. I can tell you right now. They got Mr. Dino DNA up there. Like, no, I'm not trusting that. Dr. Gordon? Dr. Gordon? Where are you going? I ordered the staff to go home. In the middle of a level one MCI? Linda, I don't know what this is. I can't get Dr. Ligari on the phone or anyone from the board. All the emergency lines are down. Yeah, we tried the dead. CDC, the FBI. We can't reach anyone. Okay, but Santa Mira is the only hospital in 30 miles. We can't just shut down. If you want to stay, I won't stop you. I need to check on my family. Oh, Jesus Christ, Gordon, we need a doctor. We've lost seven patients in one shift. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude's out. He said Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Don't even ask. Will you stay? Lord. I've been working since yesterday morning. I know, but the shift change hasn't come, and there's nobody else, Britt. Oh my it's God. just us. That is one factor I'm curious to see play into this, is that people that are, like, exhausted, literally on the edge of sleep. sleep. Things are different there. Like, you're, if people are more agit, like, more irritable, easily agitated, del like, they can get, like, delusional, they can start seeing stuff, and not, like, function at 100% peak efficiency. It'll be curious to see how that, like, plays as a factor in all this. I need a 10 minute nap. That's all I ask. Oh, dead. Thank you. Dead. As if 10 minutes would even make it. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, naps can help some, but like, oh no. Oh, oh, what the. 
clock momentarily stopped. Wake them up, Dave. The whale again. Dude, dude, get out of here with this. Wake them up, Dave. You have the power. It's Modafalist. Modafalist. Stay, Stay alert. Stay alive. Oh, jeez. Hey, ma'am? Two more dead. Yeah, I think your dad is. Oh, f Oh, hey, no. Hey, nurse. We were just waiting and, and they collapsed. Jesus. <laughs> I'm guessing they'll all realize by the end of the episode. Brit. What did our victims all have in common? They were eepy. What the hell? Jeez. I mean, that'd be pretty crazy. It's pretty, pretty, pretty spooky. Terrifying, honestly, once you realize what, what... happened. She was sleeping. That's when she died. She died in her sleep. Don't know about the writing right there, but that's fine. Well, especially given these circumstances right here, like the only people that will have survived are the ones that are somehow miraculously still awake after one random night in what I assume is LA or like California. I mean, they could be anywhere, but I assume California. I don't know. How else, when else would you find out about it, right? Aside from after that. After the first sight of people like well, they got EP. Mr. Waffles. Oh, Mr. Mattress. <laughs> Why did I think that said waffles? I mean, most people sleep. 38 hours without sleep. Oh, that was the end. So at the end of every episode, it will show you how long they've been without sleep. But you can only go so long, right? Because I, I, I distinctly recall, I don't know how much scientific evidence there is to it. The really remake of nightmare on elm street right i think they, they said that once you are awake a certain amount of time it'll be so exhausted you'll start having these micro naps like you won't even realize it right your body will literally start to shut down on you and you won't even realize you're asleep until it's too late so after so much time like you would start falling asleep right that's crazy though i'm very interested i'm interested I mean, it wasn't like, oh my God, fantastic show. I loved it. But that was, I think that was good. I'm trying to both be fair, but also be realistic here, right? Like I have seen a lot of the good, the bad, and the ugly in terms of movies, games, even television. And I gotta, I'll be honest, like it's not the best thing I've ever seen, but that was like solid. That That's a solid little pilot. You know, you can tell it's something on the lower budget end of things, but at the same time, I mean, this is how you work your way up to what he wants to do with like Iron Lun and bigger projects and all that. So working with what they had, uh, I like the visuals, I like the cinematography, uh, the acting overall, even like, I mean, there wasn't really any bad acting per se. I'm very intrigued by the premise. I think it's a, it's a fairly strong pilot and I would be very, I'm very interested to see where the story goes from here. I'm just curious if this is like the Mark Lee, this whole thing, or is it mostly a group effort? Solid start so far. Yeah, we're one episode in. Uh, like I said, it's it's on the shorter side. It's a six episode series, and each episode is like around twenty ish minutes. But it's technically been on here for like two days. Although I heard that marketing's not going to hit. Well, now it's two days. I'm recording this, and it's like midnight. But technically, it's been on here for one day. Uh, Mark said that uh, there won't be like full on marketing for it till the eighteenth. But Due to the fans that he has and the support that he has, he's already gotten it to number five on Prime, which is saying something like on Amazon in Prime. So uh, I'm in. Uh, either way, I'm going to watch it. The question is, uh, it's going to come down to you guys and gals out there, which is that like, am I going to be doing, I mean, it's short enough where it wouldn't be the biggest pain in the ass to put this on YouTube. But if it gets like abysmal views on YouTube, I don't really plan on like like dedicate a lot of time to it it's going to go on patreon mostly but i wanted to put the first episode on here and see what people felt about it so the good part about talking about the show and pausing it as you go on is that uh by the end of it i've kind of voiced all my thoughts and opinions so like i said if you want to view the whole thing uh <laughs> what little more there is uncut uncensored with hd video accompaniment all that can be found on patreon.com forward slash movieman101. This might be the only video I do for it on the YouTubes. We'll see. But thank you guys and gals so much for watching. If subscribing, liking, commenting. It's free to do. Helps the algorithm. Helps the channel and all that. I have a massive backlog of content. Over 2,000 videos. 13 years of worth of work. Whether it's video game playthroughs, book read-throughs, movie reviews, 
And nowadays, a lot more reaction content. Um, you can find the free version of it all on here. If you want to follow me, I'm on Movie Man 101 Pro uh, on Instagram. Also, I game whenever uh, I, I stream whenever I can on Twitch.tv forward slash Movie Man 101. So thank you guys and guys so much for watching. Stay tuned, potentially, well, on Patreon for sure, but on YouTube potentially for the next episode of Edge of Sleep. Thank you for watching. See you then, and goodbye, travelers.